how you guys welcome back to my channel the spirit of Dexter's show i'm glad it's quita you can call me quita either one would do i answer to both this is a quick um update that god want me to put out to caution this person um i seen the person's face i seen everything that they was doing um this person was conjuring demons and that's why when you see uh, Nelly with the demon in him, because these, you got to understand when you have like a hole in your aura, like a personality disorder, that's a hole in your aura because you're not complete. You're not in one. When you're a psychopath, excuse me, I'm eating a pickle. Things of that nature. Those two disorder mainly. Um, multiple person disorder because you have to switch personalities. And that leaves a hole in your aura, holes in your aura, for, depending on how many personalities you have, for a demon or a spirit or entity to come in. Now, a psychopath, because they have no conscience, can have another entity come in too. That means there's many holes in this person's aura. There's no light. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get where I'm going with this. So... That being said, how can I put this? Um, uh, this particular individual, he's a his son signed into Gemini. He know I know who he is because uh, he sends demons my way to monitor me, to monitor my uh, where I live at, my home, um, to to do different things. I, and you think I don't know? I just be quiet, but Most High is giving me the authority to speak on this and you're causing a lot of chaos in people's lives a lot of people a lot of the collective is under chaos energy and they don't even know like um and so a lot of people's reading leos capricorns are showing up as leos and um libras you get what i'm saying their opposite energies are showing up so if you're a fire sign you might show up as a earth sign if you're an earth sign you might show up as a fire sign and that's what I've been studying, the energy. That's why I got quiet for a moment. Because I've been studying the energy. God wanted me to see something and to call it out. But this particular in individual, he is in the music industry. He is between 20 and 30 years of, of, of age. Well, I think he's in the 25 to 35 years of age. Um, his birthday is not on social media. It's not publicized. Um, he did have a birthday party where a lot of the celebrities showed up at. So I know exactly who you are, saw so your face. But this particular person does practice the sodomy and does know who he sodomized and who has split personalities and all that things of all that nature, um, DID and who's a psychopath. So he was commissioned the spirit world to activate these people so that you will see the demons come in them. Now understand, just because somebody have a demon in them doesn't mean that they practice witchcraft or even believe in sodomy and doing different things like that. A lot of people sold their soul and it wasn't willingly and some people sold their soul willingly. So you have to understand it's a very diverse crowd out there of um, people who are not whole. That's what I like to call them. Um, people who are not whole is simply because all their, pers their personalities just need to be met by together. I know it sounds so simple, but it's not that simple. It takes years and years of time for one incident what one incident could have made this person go crazy like that and um you have to understand that these pe this person this particular person is uh commissioning the universe to send demons out into people bodies and stuff um i had been doing some healing work on the back end and this demon got with of it because he didn't have that much control so and the reason why you see nelly um on stage with this particular entity or whatever was in him, you get what I'm saying? Um, it's because somebody sent that demon to him. Um, I don't know if he has a personality disorder. I don't know him personally, but I know when you have a hole in your aura, and most of the time it's due to a personality disorder or to eating something or being close to someone that um, <clears throat> did this to you. And I'm not saying nobody close did this. I'm just giving examples of why, why these things will happen. A lot of times people who are possessed are not willingly letting demons in them. They have a disorder, some kind of hole in their aura, and they are very unaware that this is happening. So 
the demon was losing control. He's losing the war. This this uh, particular person who wants to be to work for Satan is losing the war, and he knows that he's he's losing, and he's trying to send chaos in the in the atmosphere, which he already did. It's a lot of chaotic demons out there. It's a lot of uh, chaotic uh, energy over everybody's readings. I I've sat back and watched it. Got most high told me just sit back and watch. Um, it's a lot of people, a lot of perception magic being done at this time too on the collective. So we're not perceiving things as, uh, as really as they are. Only a person that I can really see that, that seeing things really as they are. And now this is only from one perspective. I, I, I don't, I can't go on each and everybody's lives and, <laughs> and say, oh, you're not seeing things correctly. You know what I mean? But this particular, uh, prophetess and she's been on YouTube for a while. She's seeing things correctly. And um, a lot of times I used to go to certain readers. Now that I understand that you can be attacked in this way, it's not that I won't come back to certain readers. It's just that I, his, I'm very cautious about what messages I listen to and what readers I look at. And I go where the most high send me. Not, and sometimes they send um, people trying to tilt my intuition to go to other people's channel, but it's easy to catch on to who, what, when, what sent you, what, what sent you where. So a lot of, um, they're doing a lot of, uh, what's the scripture? Shoot, I had the scripture ready. Hold on, you guys, because I don't want to, I think it's Matthew 6 and 23. They're using the Bible. They're, this person is a Satanist who's doing this. So you have to understand when, they they don't use a Bible just to to show God like how you know just to spit in God's face basically. Yeah, they're using this verse. I was right, but if your eye is bad, your whole body is bad. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? But if the eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. So this is the scripture they're projecting over masses and myself. Only reason I'm able to see this, I don't know. It's weird because when I go within, I, it's dark and I can't see anything. Usually I can see faces, uh, herbs, and flowers. It's somewhere God is leading me to go or do something for someone um, to heal them or to send love and energy or to just pray for this particular individual or to use this particular herb to ingest it so that he, I can maintain my connection with the Most High God. So <clears throat> this particular person is a Satanist, and this is the scripture they're using. A lot of the scripture is directed at masses, and now I, I used to think it was just me, but it's a mass uh, on the masses. And if you don't, if you don't think you're being projected, I guarantee you, if you're a tarot reader, oracle reader, ask God, and He will show you. He will. The Most High God will show you. She will show you that is a lot of stuff is projected out here is what you're saying is true but the energy in which it is in like you could be talking about a capricorn but leo will come up this person did that this is what this person did uh this person summoned the demon of magic i don't know if it was pazuzu or what demon but i saw the actual entity um the spirit um he was swinging his arms around it's some kind of yoga dance he was doing it was like he was crouched down and he was swinging his feet and um and he was swinging his arms and his mouth was protruding and he was doing his hands a certain kind of way he was doing a certain kind of dance movement that uh created uh demons to go out because you got to understand no matter what you do what you do is how you do what you do is the intention behind it so his intentions was to send demons and chaos over the masses and he know he had that kind of power because he was he, he practiced sodomy and he know who he's sodomized so he can send these spirits out and control these different type of people. And when you're watching Nelly on stage and you're watching this stuff, this is this is what is feeding your spirit. This is what you're putting in your spirit. If you're not cleansing yourself and you're not drinking tea and stuff every day, um, this this is why you get caught up. This is why the masses can e easily get caught up because not only do we watch these particular celebrities, but we also don't ingest the most healthiest foods. And that is why they have a McDonald's on every corner, Burger King over here. Not speaking against them because I eat these places too. But you have to understand how that you sometimes, every day you should be cleansing. And then some people cleanse a week out of a, a month. Some some people cleanse, you know, a day out of a month. Some people go to juice cleanse. However you want to fast or cleanse, you can do that, that way. But I'm just letting you guys know. This is why that this was set up the way the matrix was set up the way it was because it can keep the sleeping people sleep, the poor people poor, 
because you lack knowledge, because you lack uh, your, your third eye is closed, or because you're eating unhealthy food, which um, if you, is, there's high vibrational food that you can eat. Herbs are always high vibrational. Unless you, you know, you got to know how to, to work with them and, and to study them and different things like that, but when we eat carcass of meat, dead meat, that is not um, high vibrational energy. And you can pay, pick and laugh at it if you want to, but that's not because you're full and your body is heavy. So you cannot elevate like you want to because you're heavy, you're sleepy, you're, 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 you're content. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, I'm, I'm comfort food is another thing. It's okay to eat comfort food. I'm not saying don't eat it, but everything in moderation, especially when you know you're under attack and you're, you are um, tend to have psychic gifts or if you want to awaken and not be a part of the matrix, these are things that you need to be careful of. And so this particular energy, he was doing this, these, this ritual through a dance. And I saw the demons, how he was moving his arms. I seen the spirits he was summoning. And when he'll move his arm a certain type of way, a spirit will go to get sent out. He'll move it another type of way, another spirit will go another place. So he was sending demons to people he had already sodomized. So you have to understand that this is what's going on, especially uh, God is putting this in plain sight because he wants you to see and not be fooled. A lot of people think that he's on drugs, and probably Nelly is on drugs. But I'm not. Who am I to say? Oh, you're. I don't. I'm not in his life. I can't say that, and I won't say that. All I'm saying is that the people that you think are demonic are not the ones that's demonic. It's the people that send these energies and spirits to these type of people after they done violated these people in certain particular ways, or after they know this person is vulnerable in this particular way. He doesn't. He didn't have to be sodomized. He could have just had a, 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 a don't have good spiritual hygiene or, you know, touch somebody or ate something and it opened up his aura to, to be uh, for a demon to come through. Whatever allowed the demon to come through, it came through. So <clears throat> that's all I'm saying. So you have you guys have to be aware of what you're seeing and what you're what you are um, intaking into your spirit and your body. I am a prime example. I am not <laughs> perfect. I am not a vegan or anything like that. I do consume meat. I do consume other things, but I cleanse daily. I take tea. I take herbs. If you have this in, it, it don't all the time. You have to stop eating meat. Or so, but just incorporate vegetables, uh, high vibrational foods in your life. Um, the more um, natural your food is, the more, how can I say it, raw your food is when it comes to veggies and herbs is the best. It, it is. It's really, it's the best for you. Um, so just be aware of that. And you want to have very good spiritual hygiene. You want to make sure you're taking your spiritual baths. You want to make sure you're cleansing. I have to right now because there's so many perspectives perception spells and chaos chaos magic and chaos demons in this world i have to have a face wash every day um there's plenty of people on youtube that are um are recipes on google that you can go boil your herbs cleanse yourself uh god didn't put herbs here for no reason they're not just to season our food <laughs> you get what i'm saying so you know you want to go wash your face with um these different remedies so you can have clarity so nobody is controlling you nobody's controlling your perception of things um this has happened to me too don't get me i know because i worked my way through it i know because the most I, most high god has led me through these different type of situations so i'm not better than you i'm just making you aware um another thing is this particular person tried to send demons uh well i did see demons my way in my home and different things like that of that nature um and he he has the 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 how can i put it the gift or the ability to control uh, masses, people's perception, people's thoughts. And he can send demons to you as well as Stephanie P. Smith. They can send demons to you to um, engage with you. You're thinking you're having a conversation in your mind the whole time. The demon is there listening to you having a conversation with you. You think you're having it with yourself and you're really not. So you have to be aware of those spirits and, and those entities that are around you. Um I know it sounds like a lot, but these are the tactics and, and tools of the most low God, of Satan. So you have to understand his people practice these things, and we are in this world too. So you just have to get accustomed and build up your strength to fight, uh, excuse me, to live a life where you're constantly in um, alignment with God. So, and this particular person that's doing this, Spirit told me this person has HIV, 
um, their inner child is caged because I he had me make up some cards. The inner child is caged. They're um, looking for some type of miracle, uh, some kind of victory with this uh, work that they're, that they're doing um, because they feel gross about themselves. The word gross come out um, and they desire clarity. They want to be clear, but they're so deceived by Satan with this mental disorder to this is how they practice. This is what he, he comes up with is to be um is to do it this way and this person know that they're unsafe they know they have a mental disorder and this person know that their mother raped them this is a particular energy that i was channeling not too long ago um i didn't put it on my channel but um this per, 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 this particular person mother raped them as a child continuously the father was at work all the time and the mother was home taking care of the kids and her, the mother was a narcissist the mother practiced sodomy and so this is where uh, this come from and I, God allowed me to see this person and talk about this person's energy because this person, this person know that it's wrong like they know they don't care um, they want it's like they want some kind of clarity they want how can I put it they want clarity but they don't want nobody else to have clarity you get what I'm saying they don't want nobody else to see their demons they don't want anybody else to um I gotta go, you guys. They don't want nobody else to have a clear understanding of things. So, that being said, you guys, I'm done. I'm out, you guys.